Join Michael Voris in Tulsa, Oklahoma on October the 13th as he addresses sacred tradition and the rupture since the Second Vatican Council. Follow the link outside the screen to register today. I'm Matthew McAuliffe, and here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Keep an open ear while watching the vice presidential debate tonight. The American Civil Liberties Union is pressuring the moderator to bring up questions about contraception and abortion. The ACLU sent an email to supporters saying, quote, Tell Martha Raddatz, the debate moderator, to make sure a woman's right to make her own personal and private decisions isn't ignored when Joe Biden and Paul Ryan debate, end quote. The group is pushing hard for these issues to be addressed since they weren't even touched in the first presidential debate. When it comes to Catholic colleges fighting the HHS mandate, we could definitely wish for more of them to stand up to defend life, according to the Cardinal Newman Society. Out of 15 colleges suing Health and Human Services over employers being forced to provide contraception and abortion-inducing drugs to their employees, seven, the minority, are Catholic. The Society points out this information begs the question why there aren't more Catholic colleges suing Obama for their religious liberty, especially larger institutions with resources. New study results on distributing free contraception have the media swooning to embrace the contraception mandate, but few are questioning just how well the study was executed. The National Review, though, is pointing out a few issues with a survey claiming a free contraception program for women dramatically reduced teen pregnancy and abortion, the first of which that there was no control group in the study. Another one of the five problems found is that there was also a faulty weighting mechanism overstating the effectiveness of the experimental contraception program. And you can read more about this study on our resource page by clicking on the link right outside the screen. The American Bishops Catholic Campaign for Human Development gives to a group in the Boston Archdiocese affiliated with the pro-homosexual, pro-abortion Marxist group Jobs with Justice. The Chelsea Collaborative received $40,000 from the CCHD as a grantee of the Beantown Chancery and its executive director has been honored by militant homosexual organization Mass Equality for her work on helping to pass a transgender equal rights bill. The American Life League has more detailed information in its latest report on the CCHD, which it says is just days away from being published. Homosexual men could have scientifically engineered children using DNA from both men and without a female egg donor reveals another stem cell discovery coming out of Japan. A research team at Kyoto University has discovered a way to build an egg from embryonic stem cells. And news of the discovery is already making homosexual activists consider it as their way to, quote, have children. The scientists of the study also confirmed the sperm used to fertilize the eggs was also made with embryonic stem cells, touting this as a way for women to have children, quote, whenever they want to. Cardinal Timothy Dolan is singing the praises of Dorothy Day, blogging from the Synod in Rome, calling the Catholic social activist and journalist a future saint. After she converted, Dorothy Day worked to create a pacifist movement called the Catholic Worker Movement to help the poor, but referred to herself before her conversion as an anarchist, using a book by Peter Kropotkin on anarchist communism to influence her ideas on how society should be organized. The president of the USCCB props her up, as an example of virtue to be followed in the new evangelization. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael ponders how much failure we have seen in the life of the church since Vatican II ended. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends, and may God bless you.